the number one thing that's going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship, is you must raise your standard. Your life can be too big to allow yourself to play too small. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. It means that all of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. What you're looking for and what you're talking about and what you need is self-discipline. Now, self-discipline, as the very term implies, comes from the self. It comes from you. It comes from when you make a decision to be disciplined. When you make a decision to be better. When you make a decision to do more and to be more. Well, I think the one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it, it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you, you actually do things, you, 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 you have more success. Make some choices. With new choices, you're going to get new results. With new results, you're going to get transformation. When you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. Develop the habits. You've got the brain power, you've got the energy, but develop the habits of success. We know that one of the things about high achievers is they all have goals. So literally, without goals, you're directionless. You will be used. See, people without goals get used by other people who have them. People that don't have goals work for people who do. But you know about Michael Phelps? What allowed him to be able to push beyond that moment is his rituals. Go study the guy. Most people who swim have these unbelievable workouts. He does two and three of those workout sessions a day. All the other swimmers in the beginning thought he was insane. You can overtrain, you can't do that, it's not physically possible. But he had a standard and the rituals to back it up. If it, if it was easy, everybody would, everybody would be doing it. There are always going to be ups and downs, but I think it's really how you really, you know, get back on your horse and keep going forward. And I think the biggest thing that, that I've always said is never give up. And I've, I never have, and nobody ever should. If they want something bad enough, they'll get it. They have to work for it. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. But if you want it bad enough, they'll do whatever it takes to get there. If you look at great athletes, for example, it's not that they were naturally talented, whether it's a Kobe or a Michael Jordan or a Federer. It was the quality of their rituals. If you think you can make a difference, uh, it requires commitment. The pro goes to work, and it doesn't matter if you're sick, it doesn't matter if you have kids, it doesn't matter what you, you're a pro, and you go to work. And that, and that just, it puts it in your head that this is what I do. If you don't do the work steadily every day, like an athlete going to the gym and practicing, if you don't do the work, if you don't act on the ideas, if you don't integrate them, if you don't show some self-discipline, no idea will work unless you do the work. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should work harder. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? What changes people is when you should becomes a must when suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen that's when human beings change unless you take some new action unless you start thinking some new thoughts unless you start having some new conversations unless you have the guts to clean out some of the things that are not working and install some of the new rituals that will work nothing will change The road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. And it is going to get hard and you're going to want to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. 
you have only one life. So don't waste it. I was a big dreamer, you know, and so uh, my job was to clean these seven floors between Friday and Sunday. So every time I would go to the, the seventh floor was the CEO's office. So I would bust in like I was the CEO. I'm dreaming like I'm the CEO now. And who would have ever thought I've been blessed? And here I am. I am the CEO of my own company. Well, I think that the, the number one thing is you have to have a very clear vision, a very clear goal of where you want to go. Because only then you will get there. Uh, you can have the best airplane or the best ship in the world, but if the captain doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around. If the pilot does not know where to go, he will just drift around with his plane. So it's, I think the key thing is that we know where we are going and that you're very passionate about that. And you see it always in front of you, the goal. To thrive in whatever you do, please understand your terrain. Know what your target is. Don't guess it. Be as clued up as the next man. Because that's, that's, that's your petrol, that's your, 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 your fuel to get you moving. If you don't know where you're going, what your targets are, you're never going to get there, period. And the other thing that's important is, is that you've got to shoot for the top. You've got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know? We don't achieve big things by accident. to tell each and every one of you that it doesn't matter how how old you are how young you are your age you can achieve anything that you set your mind to and I always say if I can do it anyone can do it um, if you think that you're gonna go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world and you think you can do it without working you make a big mistake because no matter what I did if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it is in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out and you got to, you know, something to make a lot of sacrifices and all this. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. I, I, I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. If we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any, anything else, if you are obsessed, t uh, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry. And, and to see LeBron James, who's like a mega uh, superstar over here and a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, share um, that belief is, is inspiring right back to me. It, it shows that we are thinking correct. You know, this is, this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can beat hard work. This here is the reality? Do you mean that the competition is not the reality? Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> behind the scenes is where the work is done. And everything is done to, to get to that one race that you need to run. I always questioned myself in the best of times, uh, even when I was world number one for many, many weeks and months in a row. At certain times during the year I said, what can I improve? What do I need to change? Because if you don't do anything or you just do the same thing over and over again, you stay the same. And staying the same means going backwards because the other guys are working hard and improving. So I always needed to find ways to improve my game as well. Beware of vision, dream, and passion killers. Family and friends, in most cases, sad to even say this, family and friends in most cases will be the first to try and talk you out of something that you're passionate, excited about, and that you have a vision for. Most of the people that have no dreams will wake up every day trying to talk you out of your dreams. They have no goals. They have nothing that they're ambitious about. Create your own reality by choosing your future. 
And not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life, people who don't want anything. The most powerful motivational speeches that I have ever heard came from people who told me I couldn't do something. <laughs> you know why? Because when they told me I couldn't do it, I was bound and determined to show them that I could. Tell me I can't do it. I will prove you wrong. I will show you <laughs> that you mistake it because I believe, and this is real important, I can't, will thwart you, will stop you, will slow you down, will turn you around and cause you to move backwards if you let it. But if you have the proper mindset, I can't, will do nothing but make you that more determined to get to your goal. One problem, the violin. Because to do what you do, you've got to be a world-class violinist. Because if you don't, when you're moving around and being thrown around and still trying to play, you end up doing what you did, and that's missing loads of notes. And there were times when it sounded to me like a bunch of rats being strangled. Seriously, that bad. But you're not good enough, I don't think, to get away with flying through the air and trying to play the violin at the same time. I don't think what you're doing right now is enough to fill a, a theater in, in Vegas. Th that much movement made you not as great as you were, made you not as great as you were. Who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. People who discourage us. You know the people that you have in your life who, no matter how good of a day you're having, they'll bring you down. Or no matter how bad of a day you're having, they'll bring you even lower. You know what I'm talking about? Think of the three biggest discouragers in your life. They're not your biggest discouragers. You are. Dear candidate, thank you for your application to our ballet academy. Unfortunately, you have not been accepted. You lack the right feet, Achilles tendons, turnout, torso length, and bust. You have the wrong body for ballet. And at 13, you are too old to be considered. So you don't think you can? You don't think you can do it? Think again. No, you can. If you haven't done it, keep striving. Keep working. Don't let up. Things don't come easy. You gotta find it, whatever it is, within yourself. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. So, just because you fail, doesn't mean you're a failure, all right? So I just need you to do me a huge, huge favor, and I just need you to keep going, try to make that one different decision that you've not made before. And then my last one is don't let the distractions distract you. <laughs> I know, real simple. But don't let the distractions distract you. Failure is not an option. When you go into it, I want you to go into everything you do, listen to me, as if failure is not an option, all right? It's not a button, it's not a label, it does not exist. You can do it. Don't let nobody steal your dream. I used to ask myself, can I do this? And something said within me, you're the one. You're the one. If you want to be great, 
not good, not also grand, not second, not third. If you want to be great, the very best at what you do, obsession is a necessity. Once you have that magnificent obsession, once you question impossible the two keys, then when somebody like that tells you you can't do something, you have chosen the wrong one to tell something like that to. I will show you, I will show you what I can do. I will show you, I will turn your I can't, I will never, I won't, it's impossible. I will turn it around and I will show you that I can do anything. I am the only problem I will ever have. And I am the only solution. I am the only problem I will ever have and I am the solution. Well, I mean, <laughs> positively and negative. I mean, you attract. No, I, you know, not just what you fear, you attract what you feel, what you are, what you attract. Yeah, what's on your mind. Yeah, what's on your mind. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like exactly. the law of physics. I don't know how anybody can disagree with that. It's, it's just, it, ask any physicist, they'll tell you that, yeah, that yeah. it's true. I become what I think about all day long. And once you know that what you think about is what expands, you start getting real careful about what you think about. You don't allow your thoughts to be on anything that you don't want or that you wouldn't want to have manifest or show up for you in your life. You know, I believe in the law of attraction and I believe that, um, that you can speak things into existence and I believe that um, once you, when you know where you're going and you know what you want, uh, the universe has a way of stepping aside for you. You have to understand, you are a man. You are a man. It's our intention. Our intention is everything. Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without intention. Einstein's most famous quote, he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. Logic will get you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere. I think my imagination has always kept me going, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, just imagine myself collecting awards, just imagine myself, you know what I mean, getting big parts, imagine myself working with the greatest actors. Everybody can imagine themselves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what, actually, yeah, I could see myself, you know, being an influencer in clothes, you know what I mean? Because I can make that happen, I can make that happen. You gotta understand something about like attracts like. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. You are a magnet. Whatever you are, that's what you draw to you. If you're negative, you're gonna draw negativity. You're positive, you draw positive. You're a kind person, more people are kind to you. This is the law of attraction, you know, you have to, in the struggle, you know, when, when things are going good and you visualize these good things happening, you visualize more good things happening, that's easy. What's not easy to do is when things are going bad and you're visualizing the good stuff. That's what freezes people. When you're trying to figure out your life all the way to the end, when you can't figure it out, it freezes you from trying it because you go, oh, well, I can't figure that out. Oh, I can't go over there because I don't know how. You don't have to know how. You have to ask, believe, and receive. Don't allow anybody else's opinions. Don't allow what it says on the internet. Don't allow the research. Don't allow what anybody out there tells you is possible or not possible for you. There are many ways to get the things that we want for ourselves in our lives. But basically, it all begins with how we choose to think. I visualized 
I'm sitting here holding the steering wheel, visualizing a brand new car and visualizing good things in, in, in times of struggle. And that, that, when you can do that, I think that really makes the, 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 that law of attraction work. I think it really attracts to you more. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation, that you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. If you want to be the best at that, if you want to reach the pinnacle of that, you must be. There's no way around. You have to be obsessed with obtaining that. Greatness in any field, greatness cannot be achieved without obsession. People will tell you, obsession is a bad thing. It's possible for you to live your dream. It's necessary that you associate with winners, that you work your system, that you are relentless, that you never give up. It's you, you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream. Somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Until you start believing in yourself, you're going to have a life. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. And after what you've gone through, if you haven't done that by now, it ain't going to never happen. It's past possible, meaning that all you got to do is start. Because if it's past possible, as soon as you start, you know you're going to set records. You know you're going to take it to the next level. You know what's going to be that you're going to do what's never been done before. If you're willing to do a little bit more than the next. If you're willing to stay up just a little longer. Sacrifice just a little bit more. The journey is not easy. Before you start that journey, mentally, you must fuel yourself with the right reasons, the right fuel to sustain the entire journey. We all have the ability to do anything. To have it. You can drive it. You can win it. You can fly it. You can have it. Impossible, baby, is nothing. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in your dream. You gotta believe one day it's gonna be your moment. One day you gonna own the moment. Listen to me, impossible is just a big word. Question the impossible. The greatest achievements of mankind were made by people who questioned impossible. The Wright brothers questioned what people call impossible. Success is not a straight line. It's crooked, it's down in a valley, it's back up over a mountain. I bet you that you have failed more times than anyone in this room. Absolutely. 
you know don't wait for the stars to align reach up and rearrange them the way you want create your own constellation i am a human being there's no difference between my humanness and your humanness the only thing is if you're trying to get there you cannot stop believing in any way no matter what anybody says no matter what anybody tells you you have to know it beyond knowing it are you the best footballer in the world right now i think so yes in my mind i'm always the best i don't care what the people are thinking what they say in my mind not just this year but always i'm always the best i'm always going to say that don't allow anyone friend family acquaintance teachers, whoever it is, don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming for yourself and your family is not possible. It is possible. Please feel me, please hear this from my heart. Anything you want is possible. All you can do is plant your seed in the ground, water it, and believe. That is what allowed me to be in this position right now. I would not stop believing. I would say believe in your direction and, and do it. Spend less time talking about it and more time trying to like perfect it and put it out there. Position yourself to succeed. So for example, if you're doing something else and you, and you want to do this thing you love, you do it after hours. You work nine to six, you get home, you kiss the dog, and you go to town. Right? I mean, you start building your equity and your brand and whatever you're trying to accomplish. If you don't do it, nothing's possible. If you try to do it, at least you have the hope. Most people don't even try, sadly. Um, uh, most people um, try and then stop or give up. Um, very few people try and try and try or do and do and do and do and never give up. And those are the people that, that ultimately succeed and win third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. If you want this, if you want bling bling, if you want to buy the Jets, work. That's how you get it. I, I always believe that the, the bridge between reality and a dream is work. No idea works unless you have the courage to do the work. Ideation without execution is delusion because you can have the most brilliant idea in the world, but you gotta bet on yourself. You can't think that like, that one idea and the way that you think it's supposed to happen is the only way that it can happen. I challenge all of us to say, stop finding reasons to find and make excuses that you know, we affectionately at Under Armour call loser talk. And um, I don't know, you, you've, you've gotta just will it and and focus on, on making it happen. Focus on one thing, one area. Put all of your energy into watering one area. If you spread the water across many, many seeds, you don't have as much water for one seed. So focus on one thing. What I learned from Steve Jobs is if you believe enough, then you will see it because other people will believe in it. Other people will create products. So you need to foster the belief in what you are dreaming so that it becomes a reality. We read a lot of books on how to become successful. And then you find out they never put in the book the part when they stab someone in the back. That that success and that business that you want not working as you read this business manual. Always forget. People tend to leave out the dark parts. I don't care if you're working at a McDonald's. I don't care if you're a garbage man. I don't care if you have a college education or even a high school education. Your greatness and your degrees God already placed inside of you. So when you get all those people telling you that you'll never be nothing and you'll never amount to nothing, even family, 
You just keep grinding. You keep grinding because if you stop, they're going to say, hey, I told you something. That a lot of people laughed at. A lot of people tried to talk us out of it. A lot of people didn't understand it. A lot of people wasn't ready for it. But I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big. They didn't call my name. Told me it was over. Go for your dreams. Go for your dreams. Don't live life with regrets. I want you to remember this. Remember this. Every time you walk in the room with anybody, with anybody, know that you're special. Know that you're special. Know that you mean something to this world. I don't care where you started at. I don't care who told you what you couldn't be. I believe in you. Don't care if nobody likes your statuses. God always likes it. Don't care if your family members turn their back on you. And negative people want to keep coming in your life and tearing you down. There's a bigger dream waiting for you, just waiting for you to step into it, step into it, to step into it. Step into it. Your life is big. Your life is huge. And we spend so much time wanting to be in somebody else's life. When I was young, I had a lot of people telling me, you have to adjust to the other ones. You have to be like the other ones. I was listening, but I wasn't always following. I dragged it in, how do you say, I was listening, but I did my own thing. I kept doing my own thing and I believed in myself. I kept going and it brought me where I am today. Confidence and believe in what you do. I think that is the goal target. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas. Never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision and ideas that God has sent you. Doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down, it's about getting back up. So if there's any kid out there that's told by a parent or a coach or a teacher or somebody that they look up to, somebody that's supposed to push them and believe in them and they're told no, don't listen to them. Believe in yourself. Sometimes the outcome isn't always what you desire it to be, but the true failure in life is not trying at all. Master of my fate. Don't get in line just because other people are.